Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. So I got asked this question not too long ago, which was kind of an interesting one, and um, I really want to expand on it a little bit. And plus I have a little bit more time to think about it as well. So kind of, I was talking to, um, um, the nurse at my doctor's office and kind of just chit chatting and she kind of opened up and kind of revealed that she's going through something and she kind of is thinking more positively. And that's just who she is. It's kind of like, I'm more on the positive side, but every once in a while that kind of that negative thought will kind of come in and I'm not sure how to get rid of it was kind of really her question. So my dear Ruth Teresa question for today is how to change a negative thought into a positive one. And I will tell you so many people really kind of like catch onto this and do it the wrong way. So what they end up doing is they want to keep their thoughts as positive as they possibly can. Positive, positive, positive. And that's like, oh, yay, yay, yay. Amazing. The problem comes in at that when you just kind of ignore the negative thoughts and kind of just deal with the positive thought, that negative thought isn't really going away. And it's not really just um, kind of like, oh, I'm going to disappear into oblivion and never come back again. It's kind of like your dirty laundry. It never goes away. Even if you ignore it, it still keeps growing. The pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you kind of like, okay, how do I let this go? Well, kind of the best way to do is kind of flipping that negative thought into a positive one is really work through it. Just like your dirty clothes pile, you would kind of go in and sort each of the piles out, kind of like, um, these are the whites, these are the colors, these are the da da da, and we're kind of just dividing them all out. And that's really what we have to do with our negative thoughts as well. And picking up each one and kind of looking at it and like, how negative is this thought? And what if it did go, you know, what if it, we went down this negative path, what would happen? And always kind of keeping understanding that no matter what, you always have a negative side and a positive side to something. So even if you're saying like, this is a negative aspect and I don't want this to come true. I don't want any of this to shine through in any part of it. It's one of those, there's always a positive lining at the bottom of that. What is the positive that could come from this? And um, I think that's one of the best lessons in the world is don't ignore the negative thoughts. Really work through each of the negative thoughts and kind of putting it into its place. And kind of really asking yourself first is kind of like, what pile does it go into is really, where does it, like, is it likely to happen or very not likely to happen? Is it like uh, on a scale from one to a hundred, is it like 85 or above? That's like most likely going to happen. Is it kind of that, you know, 60 to 70 range, like it could happen? Or is it kind of like that 30-ish range of kind of like, well, it possibly could possibly happen this way? Or is it closer to the most likely this isn't going to happen. Kind of like that under 10, kind of like, so kind of putting it in the right pile can help you work through some of this. So kind of like picking that up and really think about like, how could this um, continue to stay negative? Okay. So it's most likely going to go in this pile or that pile or the other pile. And kind of really, the thing is though, usually that's like our own inner thinking that it's, it's negative now or whatever's happening that I don't want to come through. It's one of those, it's kind of like, eh, I don't really want that to come through, but it's one of those, how likely is it to come through? And that's kind of telling you which pile to go through. So that's kind of one of those, okay. So maybe it's in the pile that like this could really happen. Then think about that. Like if this were to happen, then what could happen? And a lot of times as you kind of go down this like crazy rabbit hole of like, well, this could happen and that could happen and keep going. A lot of times you get to the point where it's like, really, I'm thinking this way? Or you get to the point where it's like, okay, if this happens, then we'll deal with it then. And that's literally taking that negative thought all the way down the rabbit hole, all the way down into the crazy stuff, and then deciding like, okay, and if it happens that way, then we'll deal with it. And that's really the best way to deal with 
these negative thinking, this negative thoughts, these negative like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen next? That is really the best way to think about these negative thoughts and kind of taking it down to the utmost degree and then really looking at it like if this is really, really likely, because a lot of times it's really not. And it's just our crazy thinking of like, oh my gosh, negative, 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 negative. But if we work through those negative thoughts, it really usually gets better. Our thinking kind of is like, okay, well, this isn't so bad. This isn't horrible. And if this happens, we'll deal with it then. I think that is one of the best ways to deal with it. So let's do some angel cards and really think about um, kind of um, how do we change a negative um, thought or idea into a positive one. So let's do that. This is my first one coming up. And this is um, the sun and this is the source. And this is a really good one um, because um, our creator energy always has like the best intentions for us. And that's a really, really good thing, a way to think about things. But I would also say that when we kind of think of everything that comes into our life as kind of teaching us a lesson, it doesn't seem so bad. Even if it's kind of like, okay, this isn't the greatest situation I'm in, but it's not the most horrible situation I'm in and really looking at that with objective eyes, but then going, okay, so maybe there's something I'm supposed to learn in this. Maybe there's a life lesson I'm supposed to learn in all of this so I can keep moving forward. It's like, mm, now we're changing our thinking. Now we're changing those thoughts into something way more positive. So let's go into our next one. And this is Mars and this is all about motion. Be in motion, as much motion as you can. When there is a negative situation in front of you, be in motion. Now think about what you need to do, but then kind of get into that motion. If you are moving that motion along, it's going to get better. Um, it's one of those, even if you're trying to just, um, I always love on movies when they say, oh, my mom used to always clean when things went negative or something like that. And it really does. When you start doing something that just kind of really takes your, your, your thoughts off of what's going on in front of you, it really does open up so many possibilities for what's coming up next, how to deal with those things next, but then also kind of, it may not be so bad, but worrying about it um, is only kind of drawing that negative energy into you. So the next one is uh, Scorpio, investigate. Definitely a great one. Investigate what's in front of you. Um, once you kind of get in that motion, what do I require investigating? Uh, maybe I just need to find out about whatever happened. Maybe I need to find out more information. More information can always be helpful in what's going on in and around your life. And so finding out more about, okay, this happened. How can I work through it? Or how have other people worked through this? That can be a really great way to kind of investigate that. And what else did someone else do if, in this situation? That can really help as well. Um, this is Jupiter and the abundance. When we have an abundance of negative thoughts, we really, I want to think of it as we really do have an abundance of positive thoughts coming our way because they have to be in balance. We have to stay in balance no matter what. So when we have those kind of negative thoughts, there's also really positive thoughts as well. If we work through our negative thoughts, the positive thoughts will pop up even more. Progressions, the journey. This is really talking about our journey of our life path. Our journey is not just like straight up and everybody wants that. Everybody wants it to be light and easy and no problems and no fuss and no mess and all that kind of stuff. It rarely happens that way. So kind of really one of the best things to kind of keep with that is understanding you're going to have some dips in the road and those are teaching you amazing lessons. Usually working through karma for not only this life, but could be possible past lives as well. Keep moving forward and it will get better. The last one is kind of um, solar calm and this is about the clar uh, uh, clarifying kind of what is that you really have to clarify. What is the, the situation or what you have to deal with at this moment in time? What is that and how are you going to work through it or how are you thinking you're going to get some better clarity in this? Finding out about the situation and finding out um, how you can work through it easier is amazing and it can really help you not only now but in the future as well. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.